the Amluxtra or the self-adaptive dressing makes patients happy and it makes nurses happy. Uh, the patients, uh, it's basically, it, we've all tried to float a dressing off, a dressing that dries out and sticks to the wound bed. It, it, tremendously painful and uh, you don't see that with Amluxtra. As far as nursing satisfaction, again, uh, simplifying the number of dressings uh, types that they have to learn and, and manage the patient, uh, how often that they have to intervene with the patient, uh, the, their, uh, the ability to cut the product to fit uh, certain wounds, all that's, that's easy. And so Luxra has uh, superior performance in all those areas. Uh, as far as patients, uh, it's, uh, it's a very uh, soft dressing, it's very malleable, it, it, it moves with them, doesn't stick to their wound, doesn't pull uh, on the wound. Uh, the, the fact that it can donate moisture uh, keeps wounds from getting dry and getting painful. So it, it does the moist interactive wound care extremely well for the patient and uh, the patient satisfaction with less uh, interventions uh, such as dressing changes and then all the different problems that we've all encountered with, uh, with uh, dressings that can get dry uh, makes it uh, very satisfying to the patient. We've used an Electra probably about uh, a year now. I like the quality of the material. Uh, it uh, doesn't uh, break down easily. Uh, it, it's uh, it's a very sturdy uh, backing, but the 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 part that does the heavy lifting is the uh, gel uh, type surface that uh, sets on the patient's wound. I'm gonna say this better. And, uh, no worries. Okay, so the the uh, the moist uh, uh, component to the wound that that it, uh, impacts the wound uh, does self adjust. It does donate moisture, and it uh, also uh, will absorb quite a bit of moisture. Uh, and that's real important in the type of wound care that we do. We do biofilm-based wound care where we're uh, leaving dressings on for a week at a time. And uh, during that time, we have a, uh, we've, I, we've identified the bacteria on the surface of the wound. We've uh, formulated a, a uh, uh, antibiotic and anti-biofilm gel that uh, is in a, uh, uh, a drug delivery system that can manage the wound for up to a week at a time. Our problem was we didn't have dressings that could, uh, could uh, uh, work with that gel. So what we found within Luxtra was we could change the dressing once a week. Uh, works very well under a cast or under a Pro 4 or something like that. We could change the dressing uh, twice a week so that we could have some of our uh, uh, nurses or other wound care clinicians see the wound more frequently. So the dressing gives us a, a lot of different options for managing uh, the, uh, the, the different types of wounds that we encounter and, and that really works well so uh, for the entire clinic, for the flow of the clinic to have it down to this, uh, uh, I don't want to say that either. So that really works well for the flow of the clinic that we can have a, a less number of, of different types of dressings that we have to turn to. Uh, so now I'm going to start answering your questions. Sure. Um, could you please address efficiency cost? Oh, okay. Well, we feel like that Luxtra is, is extremely efficient for us in terms of cost benefit. It might be a little pricier than some of our uh, uh, dressings, but again, it, it works well with our uh, 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 our other treatment options for biofilm-based wound care. It works well with our gels, and so uh, we uh, can do less dressing changes. It, we're changing it twice a week or once a week, which really helps out the home health uh, agencies, helps out the hospital personnel by decreasing those dressing changes. And I don't worry about it uh, because of that self-adaptive mechanism. A lot of times we'll put uh, uh, appropriate uh, antibiotic gels on the wound and we'll go from a fairly uh, exudative wound to a drier wound in the course of three to four days. But during that time, uh, the dressing itself can absorb any excess moisture up front and then as uh, we start uh, 
uh, suppressing the wound biofilm, the inflammation goes down, the exudate goes down, then it can actually donate moisture to our gel to allow it to work better or donate moisture to the wound if we need to. What we see on the edges is a lot less maceration. Uh, the, the, because of its ability to control the, the wound exudate, we see a lot less maceration, a lot less scalding of the wound, and uh, that's improved patient uh, uh, comfort. But it's also, we don't get the secondary problems that, that often comes with the overhydration of the skin. Dressings are, are much more important in wound care than, than what uh, we, we realize. So in biofilm-based wound care, which is what we do, what we're really focused on is the surface of the wound and that's because uh, the chronic wounds are chronic infections. There's, there's surface bacteria attached to the wound and that bacteria feeds itself by producing inflammation causing plasma to come up to percolate through the, the wound slough, the wound biofilm. And, and that's how it feeds itself. If we can take that nutrient source away from the, the biofilm we think that that diminishes it, suppresses it, so that our other treatments uh, work well. Well, that's where the dressing comes in. A dressing that can absorb moisture, can absorb moisture fairly fast, uh, can keep that moisture from wringing out or coming back into the wound, uh, it, it takes that nutrient source away from the wound biofilm. Now the other thing about the, that we find with the self-adaptive uh, dressing is, is when we put uh, our treating agents on the surface of the wound, very often it's an exudate, even an inflamed wound. And then uh, over the next two to three days, as those antibiotics, as those uh, other treating agents are able to, uh, to suppress the biofilm, that exudate's not coming out anymore. Well, our gel tends to, to get uh, less hydrated, uh, our wound get, tends to get drier, and if you have a self-adaptive uh, dressing, then that moisture can be donated back into the gel, can be donated back into the wound, and, and uh, it, it solves that problem. That allows us to go longer periods of time with a single dressing, and again, that, that decreases uh, the workload for the nurses, uh, we don't have to worry about what's happening under the wound as much because it does adapt. Uh, so at the end of all of that, uh, when we pull that off at three to four days, uh, we have a wound that, that again, isn't macerated. It, 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 the dressing has, a, has accommodated the needs of the wound as they've evolved over that three to four days. That's great. Um... I have simplification of protocol as the next question. Okay. You've spoken a little bit about that. If we can, we single it out and just yeah, would you be repeating talk. yourself? Oh yeah, but that's fine. Oh. Uh, we'll do it different ways, and then you guys. You know. Could we please? Oh yeah. Okay. Because, Thank you. Because, yeah. So simplification of protocol. I've cut video before, and you're sitting there, and you're saying, yep. If he just tilted his head, or you know, if exactly. The, wasn't, the more we so, can get. Yeah, you get, get you better clips. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the other thing about Inlustra or the self-adaptive dressing is that it simplifies our, our protocol, our workflow within our, our clinic. We have to stock less different types of dressings and then we, we can choose a, a dressing that can meet a lot of different uh, wound care needs, a highly exudative wound. Uh, it, can, it can accommodate that. As that wound changes from highly exudative to, to less exudative with treatment, it, it will adapt to that environment and dry wounds. It can actually donate uh, moisture to that. That simplifies what, what you have to turn to uh, in managing the chronic wounds. That, that simplifies the workflow for our, uh, our uh, nurses and, and people that are applying the dressings. Uh, and it also uh, decreases the amount of dressing changes we need in between. So uh, our, our workload for home health or for the patient or their family. So it, it simplifies uh, the, the protocol dramatically in terms of number of dressing changes and just number of products that you have to turn to for the different types of wounds.